gang, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic and today I'm not going to be reviewing the board game because I've actually had a delivery. I've had a huge box sent to me from Bernardo from Tabletop Island so this is probably going to be my first unboxing video and when I say huge box I mean huge box. So first off I just want to say a huge thank you. Thank you so much Bernardo. Um, now he's messaged me ahead of time and said that there's going to be board games in here but he's also thrown in a few surprises as well so uh, yeah let's, uh, let's get this sucker open so I have no idea what's in here um, other than there's going to be some board game stuff and I really hope I'm not knifed into the top of the boxes here oh. now that you have to take this book really securely. So, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 packaging skills here. Uh, oh. oh my god, well I can see something already here. And, uh, oh my god. Well, first of all, um, It from the pit and Bernardo knows that this is my grail game this is the game that I've been after for nearly five years and oh my god yeah uh, thank you so so much uh, I cannot wait to play this uh, yeah, so huge big box game, uh, motorized components, 3D molded boards. Wow, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, I know as well that I warned Bernardo about this game and I told him it was bad. <laughs> and it is a surprise. He did throw a surprise in here because what he has given me is give the dog a bone from one instance now i actually had this game as a kid and despite it, it is a beautiful looking game 3d molded plastic board it's pretty dreadful to play but i will give it excuse i'll give it a fair review <laughs> but yeah uh, <laughs> quite surprised to see that there um So in this bag looks to be a, the motorized unit for it from the pit. I can just about see the monster's eyes through the bag there. So okay, packaged it separately. Uh, oh, oh, shark mania! Now. Oh. <laughs> Well, the bottom of the box is just poking out. Um, but yeah, this is another game that me and Bernardo spoke quite a bit about. Bernardo's done a review on Shark Mania. And this is a surprisingly difficult game to get hold of. Um, but it looks a lot of fun. So you've got this um, mechanical shark chomping along this bridge. And as it moves along, the play pieces that you're on are constantly being gobbled up, uh, which seems like such a neat concept. Again, another one I'm, I'm itching to have a go with. Um, and I, well, I knew this one was coming because um, of the, the gag video that both him and Matt Wilkins did. This is uh, Feed Me. Uh, this is basically a little shop of horrors game, a little bit like a Buckaroo clone. Um, and yeah, I, I had this as a kid. I, I grew up with this. Uh, this was at my grandma's house. Um, again, this is a very hard to find game. Um, I, this is probably going to unlock a lot of childhood memories playing this. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Bernardo. I'm just going to get the pieces out of the bottom here. Uh, oh, hang on. We have a bag with some feet in here. It's a Restoration Games bag. <laughs> Now, I don't know where you got that from, I'm assuming from a convention, but that's pretty cool. Uh, that's, that is awesome. Uh, the Waddington story. So, uh, this is the story of Waddington's games. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's obviously Waddington's a British company. Um, started up in Leeds, which 20 miles away from me. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna really look forward to reading this. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed here. Uh, wow. And. Yes, so these are some very important cards that I need for a game that I've got. Um, so I, I bought a copy of this game called Back Off Buzz, a motorized game. Um, the key components of the making that game work and play properly is this deck of cards, and my copy didn't have them. You need these cards because they tell you a movement. So move six, trade places, go to an empty pyramid. So the way I had the game was completely unplayable, but now it's playable. Thank you so much, Bernardo. Um, I actually don't know what to say. I'm totally overwhelmed. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I realise there's not been a review on the site for couple of weeks now but well I, I guess I've got a bunch of new games to review so uh, as always thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again soon